Um, I'm pretty stoked to create this new mini-series to walk through the process of turning rough design ideas into polished WordPress patterns, specifically using WordPress 6.3. I've already prepared some initial design concepts just to get some rough ideas sketched out, and in this mini-series I'll be demonstrating how effortlessly these can be translated into functional WordPress patterns, specifically focusing on using Gutenberg blocks. Now, these designs are fairly common, but they're also versatile enough that they can be applied to most brochure style website designs. You can even customize them individually to create different variations for different sections of your WordPress website. So to make things easier for you, I'll be creating a playlist of each of these walkthroughs. The goal is to keep each video as short and concise as possible so that you can easily revisit them in the future. Each video in the playlist will have a specific title referring to the style of the pattern, which will make it easier for you to navigate when you need to reference them again. They'll be called things like text with image layout or three column button call to action, or maybe creative typography with images. So before we dive in, there are a couple of prerequisites. First and foremost, obviously you'll need a WordPress installation or an existing website up and running, uh, preferably with WordPress 6.3 or higher. Now WordPress 6.3 is released today, so these videos should have a good shelf life. Additionally, I'll be using a plugin called Create Block Theme. Now if you followed my previous videos, you're probably familiar with this plugin, as I'm currently using it to kickstart most of my projects. Now this plugin, not only will it help me to build the patterns, it also enables me to install different fonts from the Google Font Library, um, allowing me to get more creative with the typography in the specific design patterns. It will also make it compatible with um, full site editing, which specifically is referred to as a block theme. Now you don't need to use this plugin, but bear in mind, if you don't, then your particular designs might not look exactly like mine because the style and the design of your particular website will be respecting your particular theme, which is absolutely fine. But the concept of building a pattern will be exactly the same regardless of whether you're using a block theme or a classic theme. Now don't forget, if you like what you see, please do give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.